all things metal tapping together in the wind, bleached fish bones 1,000 miles from the sea, sheds where you can get directions and diving apparatus, the inevitable airstream trailer, the inevitable rusty boiler, the inevitable graffito of a coelacanth, the high line of the last tide strewn with yellowish swim bladders of unknown animals like condoms inflated and then varnished into fragility, kilometre upon kilometre of unravelled polypropylene rope, tin signs, tied knots, a sense of petrol, and then the cliffs with their abandoned funicular railway slicing up through the maroon sandstone to the plateau above. Windows of static ice cream parlours. This is where we'll dive. As far as anyone can tell, they lived in threes or fives. Odd numbers, anyway, in each group. And each household kept a small reptile on a bit of coloured string. We have no idea who they were, or when they were here, or what they wanted out of life. That's the attraction. And afterwards, to sit in the boat, tired, happy, washing a small blue item in the most gentle solvent, because no one will ever know what it is. <laughs>